Hi, Todd here, and welcome to another Acme Machining. Well, I was talking to Alan at AccuSize Tools, and uh, he sent me a 5C collet chuck to mount up in the lathe and do a review. So, uh, he's also got a promo code. So, the promo code is QMCTECH. And that's good for 5% off at uh, AccuSizeTools.com. So uh, I'm going to uh, take you over to the bench. We're going to unpackage this and uh, get it mounted up to the lathe and check it out. Okay, let's get this opened up. Nicely packaged. And the box has got uh, can CNC tooling solutions written on it. So I'll put the part number in the in the description there, so you guys can uh, look it up. Some instructions. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, it says can CNC tooling solutions and this is the uh, D14 5C collet chuck so just gonna wipe it off and then I'll get to uh, mounting up the uh, the studs on the back so we can get it in the lathe and I'll be back Okay, so in their setup instructions, they want you to check the, the run out of this taper and the face. And they want it within, just one second, I wrote it down, they gave it to me in metric. They want 1.6 ten thousandths. Now I'm not breaking out my ten thousandths indicator because I'm actually going to zoom in on this so for you. Because I've spun this and it's rock solid on zero. position this make sure you're still in frame oh no of course good thing I checked Bring this in closer so I can get it to focus better. Okay. 
that is not moving on me so back over to the bench get this uh, chuck prepped now as you seen when I did the review on the AccuSize 8 inch chuck um, just a side note I haven't removed that 8 inch chuck it is so versatile with being able to flip them jaws back and forth and it's a good size chuck especially for the machine I've got so if you want I'll, uh, you can check out my other videos and find the 8 inch 3 jaw AccuSize review that I did and I've been very happy with it I couldn't be more pleased if I spent three times the money that they want on it so I don't know if you can see I'm gonna get behind here so I can see right here there is a line yeah, there you can see it and what you do is you screw these in here until that line is flush with this surface so the line is flush with this surface then you'll put your set screws in but first I put it in the truck to make sure that it tightens up in the proper uh, proper arc of the locking cam bolt so oh, a little too far there Okay, I'll go over the lathe, take you over the lathe, and we'll see uh, how this sets up. Okay, we're going to put this in here. Now, I just zoomed in. I've taken, and I've put a little center punch mark right here. You can see it in the screen there. And the reason I do that is... I can't always be sure that everything's 100%. Like I measured this, I didn't get the tenths indicator out. I was happy that the needle wasn't even jiggling. And uh, I have to back this away for. But what I've done here temporarily is I've just put a sharpie mark right there. There, we got you back in frame. So I've wiped everything off with some acetone. And I'm going to bring you in here again. I want you to see something. I'm set my little pointing pen here. We have a V mark right here and a V mark right here. And this little mark on the tightening paw is supposed to live between this and this. So somewhere is in this arc. Right now it is not. So I have to change this one. What I'll do is I'll loosen that out one turn. I'm just going to see where these here other ones live. There you can see that one. That one is nice. That one there is nice. So the one with my sharpie mark, I'm going to back it out one turn and then I can put those little lock screws in. I'll just show you the lock and screws before I uh, 
stick it back in the truck but I'm just gonna pick it up and take it over to the bench again make sure we're still on here okay so I've just taken this out and all I'm doing is I'm backing this one off one turn lining it up with these now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put the walking uh, cap screws in there and then these here won't be able to be turned so they're pretty much set for life at that point. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put these locking Allen or cap head screws in, and uh, they don't tighten up on these. They just there's a cutout in there, and it doesn't allow them to turn. Okay. Now another reason I put these index marks in is because all you've got here is you've got a cutout and this here is uh, it's it's off center so it fits in there try to stay out of your way here and the off center piece of that it engages in that cutout and it's got to be between here and here otherwise this is the maximum engagement of the cam to the cutout so you've got to be in that area you can't be not tight enough in it and you can't be past over center on it because that won't work either so now I'm good there I'm good there and I'm good there and if this here shift it from one point to another if I didn't index it there may be a difference in this cam to this cam and that would set it up so every time I put it in I could have to go through and guess where I'm going to so what I do is I check when I do check my run out I'm gonna check it and if I'm not a hundred percent happy with it I'll turn it 120 degrees and 120 degrees till I get my best reading and then I'll make this mark permanent so it always goes in the same spot so changing a chuck is easy it's not you got to get dial indicators out and make sure everything is all foolproof but machining can't be foolproof or fools couldn't do it right okay I'm gonna get a tenth indicator out and I will be back okay so I got my tenths indicator one ten thousandths of an inch indicator and that's not quite oh it jumped I moved it too much That is going from one five to one three. So two ten thousandths of an inch there, folks. And their setup sheet says uh, uh, six thousandths of a millimeter, which is two point four ten thousandths of an inch, and we're at about two ten thousandths of an inch. So now it's time to get a call it out set her in there and uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a gear shaft that'll fit in there properly and I can do uh, run out on the gear shaft so we'll be back in a minute so far so good happy 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 okay the next thing they want is testing the 5c collet chuck uh, these collets are from KVC tools I've had them for a while they've treated me good so but uh, it says to mount a piece of bar into okay 
fix the truck in the measuring device, then clamp the standard measuring bar using 2C gear to tighten it slowly, then measure run out of the 5C fixture. Orifice is uh, 0 0.015 millimeter, and that there is 6 ten thousandths of an inch, measured 2 inches from the collet. So, excuse my reach here. They say 50 millimeters in English, that there's 2 inches. And uh, so I'm at the 2 inch mark. And I'm just going to zoom in on the I have to move in on try to get you guys the best picture I can. Now this is a genuine Michitoyu ten thousandths. I know it's not on zero, but I don't see it moving. And you can see it moving when I touch it. It is against the work. I'll try screwing this in just a little bit more. Okay, first of all, do you know how hard it is to find a piece of test bar that is perfectly straight in your shop? I thought I had some gear shafts that should be straight and no, 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 no. They're way out. I tried it on like this and I said, oh my God, what's wrong? Put it in V blocks. Yeah. Six thou out in the V block, so how am I going to get six ten thousandths out of a gear shaft that's already uh, got six thou run out? But what I've got here is I have a titanium valve out of an uh, LS7 Corvette engine, and uh, I'm assuming it's straight, but uh, God only knows. But should be straight for the money they want for it. That's for darn sure. I'm going to get you in as tight as I can on this indicator. So it's not zero, but keep in mind, it's a tenth indicator. Try to zero one. Good luck. So I'm going from one tenth to five tenths. I'm allowed six tenths. Now let's go crazy. And I'm not even going to look up the run out on a Corvette valve. Especially one that's been uh, beaten around on my tool chest for the last couple of years. Fine neutral here. So 
Yeah, I'm happy. I got four to five tenths there. I'm allowed six. Like I said, you don't know how crooked things are until you start measuring what you have. I assumed a piece of hardened shift shaft, shift rod shaft would be good, but I guess not. Especially after you beat on them and use them as punches and drifts and alignment tools and everything else. But uh, I'm happy to have this. This is a nice little collet chuck though. Uh, AccuSize tools. I was speaking with Alan. I called him up to uh, order a coaxial indicator and uh, he said would you like to do a review on a 5C collet chuck. So apparently they've got a new manufacturer making these for them and uh, they said they're really good and I have to believe them because I'm really pleased with this. So uh, check out AccuSize Tools. I will uh, write it out. I'll look it up. My computer's not working out here in the shop today so I will look it up while I'm making and I will put it I'll print it out on the screen and I'll put it in the comment box with a link so um, or I'll try to put a link. I've had trouble doing that before. But <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's still dry from being sick. Um, but yeah, they've got a 5% uh, off promo code. And I'm just grabbing my book because my memory is old. But I'll put it up there. Promo code QMC Tech, and it is good till December seventh, twenty twenty four. So you got a whole year. Well, it'll probably be a little less than a year because it take me a week to get this uh, done up and online. But uh, I've had absolutely no problems with AccuSize tools, and That's a beautiful looking collet chuck and I know I'm going to enjoy having it and uh, anyways December the 7th here you guys have a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, look after all your loved ones and uh, Okay folks, one thing before I go I just wanted to mention uh, you guys are on the internet going through YouTube and stuff like that I want you all to take the time and check out Maddie's workshop Maddie's come down with some form of cancer and it is uh, giving them a real hard time and I don't know why, but cancer seems to attack the nice people. We all know a whole bunch of people that's just a total waste of air, and they live to be 105 and stubborn old bugger. I'd like to say other words, but I look out the window and I see snow and I can think of lots of bad words. But uh, yeah, Matty's having a real time with uh, his chemo and stuff like that. It's beating the crap out of him. And they're not a nicer guy out there, so you know what? Show him some love. Find his uh, find his YouTube channel. Look on his uh, look at his videos. Hit the subscribe button. Give him lots of love. Give him lots of likes because uh, there's nothing better than uh, seeing people subscribe to your channel and giving you the thumbs up and positive comments and stuff like that. And uh, I want to thank those that uh, do that for Maddie, and I also want to thank those that uh, do that for me because I really appreciate it. But uh, you guys all have a great uh, holiday season. Where I come from, we call it Merry Christmas. I know other people call it different things, but it's Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So uh, you guys all enjoy, and uh, we'll see you later.